Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day today. I decided um, to sit outside to do my video, so I hope that everyone can hear me well. <clears throat> I wanted to talk today to my friends that are going through a divorce, um, a separation, a breakup. Um, a lot of my friends are going through that right now. Um, myself included and um it's it's been rough but through it all i've been trying to stay positive and i know um a few of my friends have said that it has almost been impossible for them to stay posi positive through all of this and i I totally get it and that's why I want to share my story at first I was ashamed I be honest with you I really didn't want to talk about it I didn't want to tell anyone that I was going through it for the first few months I didn't tell anyone people would ask me how my other half was doing and I would say well, he's fine he's fine he's great he's gonna start a new job soon whatever I would I wouldn't say what was going on. It took a lot of courage to finally tell people we're not together anymore. Um, almost because I didn't want to face it myself. And I was going through a lot of guilt and shame and anger and resentment. <clears throat> a lot of feelings that I had to deal with. So for almost four months, I... Um, secluded myself from everyone and it was during the holidays and I felt terrible because my family and my friends would invite me out and um, I didn't show up for Thanksgiving at my family's house I I didn't go to I, I didn't go to their house for Christmas I kind of stood away from everyone um, even though some of my family members knew what I was going through I just didn't want to put on a face and um, and act happy when everything was bothering me so much inside <clears throat> and I've recently heard somebody say when you break your silence you become a candle to other people and the way I interpret that is when you share your story you shed your light on other people you give people hope you they, they realize that they're not alone. I know my story resonates with a lot of people because I actually know a lot of people that are going through the same thing right now. I'm sorry for all the outside noise, but it's really nice and I wanted to do this video out here. Um, so that really um, motivated me to start making videos because I feel that my story can help a lot of people and um, I'm willing to share now I'm not ashamed anymore I don't feel guilty I've let the anger go um, so I wanted to shed some light on you guys um, let me just go through my notes I, I, I wrote I wrote a bunch of stuff down um, the f the first thing i did was i had to um sit with my feelings and actually feel them um i think that's why i took some time to myself i think that's why i took some time for myself and um I had to really meditate on what was going on. I had to really um, check in with myself and I, I needed to be silent to do that. And I would suggest to all my friends that are going through this, um, take the silence in. It's quiet now. Um, if, if you've already separated and you're not living together anymore, I'm sure it's quiet. There are no more fights. There are no more arguments. Um, you have no one to talk to but yourself and take advantage of that um, only in the silence can you really hear yourself um, 
only in the silence can you really hear the thoughts hear the feelings and feel them feel them it's okay to be ashamed i was ashamed and i felt guilty and i had a knot in my stomach for months and every day i would just meditate on it i i knew what the feeling was i knew what it felt like it didn't feel good and I wanted to go beyond that. So I needed to shed light on it every day. And every day I would say a prayer, I would meditate, I would stay silent and I would ask for it to, I would ask to release it. And every day the knot was less and less. The knot, that feeling, it was, in, it was literally in my stomach. I felt a knot in my stomach. Um, there were months where my throat would throb because I felt like I couldn't say everything that I wanted to say. I felt like I was a, I was attacked and I couldn't, I couldn't say anything. Um, and I think that's why there was like a knot in my throat. And, um, and I would meditate. I would actually meditate on the parts of my body that physically didn't feel well. And I would release, I would say to myself, I release this energy, I release this negative energy. Um, and that, that really helps. So the, the silence, take advantage of the silence and check in with yourself. And it might take a few months, but you will slowly feel the progress. Um, that, that made a big difference. It, it made a big difference because I was, I was really literally making myself feel sick. Um, another thing was I kept replaying memories in my head. Um, I would think about our arguments and then they would piss me off and I would be angry and I would um, replay it in my mind on how I could have done it differently. I could have said this. I could have done, I should have said this. I can't believe I let him say that to me and I didn't say this. What about when he did this? And then it snowballed. It was one angry memory after another angry memory and another angry memory. And before you knew it, I was fuming inside and my heart was racing and my blood was boiling. And I was like, why, why did I just do that to myself? Why am I so angry about something that happened three years ago? <laughs> or eight months ago or whatever whatever it was because I was constantly doing that to myself and um, so I took the approach that every time I got a bad memory I'd let it go I just let it go that was that was meant to happen I, I released it I don't want to think about it anymore and then I started countering that with every time I let go of the memory I would let the memory go but then I would send love to myself and to him and and that kind of started also changing the dy dynamic of our situation mine and his because the whole time that we have broken up he was angry at me as well and he wouldn't look at me in the face or talk to me and then I noticed when I started from far away just saying I hope he finds love in his own heart for himself uh, I hope he finds love in another relationship I just I just I send him blessings. I wish him well. I really don't wish him bad. Um, and then I would send myself some love because I needed it too. And um, when I started doing that, I started noticing that our relationship, even though we're broken up, started getting better and he started talking to me a little bit easier. Um, and I think that when we send out love, we send out a a vibration a frequency and I do think that on a subconscious level you know um, our our prayers do reach other people they do um, we don't know how I don't know how my energy floats into the universe and reaches someone else um, that's part of the miracle of this world and of the universe and but I use it I use it because we all have the power to use it so I, I have and I noticed things have been getting better and that that has also helped me I know a lot of people out there are saying I hate him I can't get over it or I hate her she's done this to me and she's done that to me but it brought you to this moment right now 
um, even though those things hurt, they're behind you. They're behind you. Uh, there, there are two days of the year that we can't do anything about. And that was yesterday and tomorrow. We can't do anything about what happened yesterday. And we can't do anything about what's going to happen tomorrow. We can only work on this moment right now. So, um, I, I've grown to accept those things and it's it's okay that that happened that made me the person I am right now and I can deal with the issues that I can deal with right now because of what happened um, I always say you can't deal with shit if you haven't been through shit and um, I, I think that's very true pain is necessary for us to grow um, Start asking yourself big questions because, to be honest with you, this is a, a, a second lease on life. I know that right now you may, um, it may not feel that way, but you're, you're, given, you're being given a second opportunity in life. You're given an opportunity to do whatever you want right now. Um, so what are your wildest dreams? Start writing them down. As, it doesn't matter how wild they are, how big they are. It, it can seem crazy um to you and maybe to other people but that doesn't matter live your wildest dreams write them down um like i said it doesn't matter how big they are as long as you're taking a small step towards them after you write your biggest dreams start writing what would be the what would be the first thing i have to do to make this dream come true maybe it's a phone call Maybe it's knocking on someone's door. Maybe maybe it's doing a little research. Um, whatever that first step may be, take take that first step. Take that first step. Write, write them down. Write down your wildest dreams. Um, I, I strongly believe that nothing is impossible. Um, and yeah, and I've been I've been doing that myself. I've 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 been taking steps towards my dreams. Um, one of one of them is to help other people with my experiences and i would like um to one day write a movie about it i think it can help a lot of people and um and i'm working on that and it's one day at a time and there's small small steps i don't expect it to happen this week or next week or maybe even next year but um i don't care as long as i'm still alive i'm gonna i'm gonna try every day uh, what else? Oh, one second, I'm just going through my notes. Um, I think I, I, I covered everything. I covered everything that I, um, that I wanted to cover. But if you guys have any specific questions, any feedback, or any topic that you want me to address, please leave a comment below, um, share, subscribe, like. I would appreciate your feedback. Um, and thank you for sitting with me. I hope this, I hope this helps somebody out there. Have a great day.